I'm going to introduce our Norman Knight, and they grow with a wonderful lady who's going to tell you all about them. So here, without further ado, I hand you over to Trudy from the Norman Knight. I want to have a go on the archery before. Come on, come all, come here, my call. For I am your herald today, and I bring you the knights of the dawn of chivalry. We'll be giving you knights, fights, and other delights. I'd like to take you back to the 13th century, when men were men, and women were simply damsels in distress. There were no TVs, no Xboxes, no video games. You didn't have famous footballers. There were sportsmen that you could worship from afar. The people that you worshipped were knights. These were your David Beckhams, your Usain Bolt, your Mo Farrers of the time period. You would get really excited because you would hear these legends of all these great deeds that the knights had done. And you'd be really, really excited for these men were your heroes. To imagine how exciting it must be to discover that the Lord or Lady of your town has decided to throw a tournament where these knights that you've never met, where you've only heard these fantastic, amazing stories are coming to visit your town. You're a lonely peasant working day to day and this is the kind of entertainment that you live for. This is what you would love to see. Imagine being there, meeting these wonderful, amazing knights that you've only ever heard of in legends and stories. These were your heroes. So whilst the guys go around, you can come up, you can show up, you can have a look at the weapons. I'm going to show you some of the weapons, introduce themselves. Please feel free to ask them any questions that you want. Believe you and me, these guys love to show off their weapons, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they live for. They need the swords. <laughs> Today we'll be showing you a tournament where we've got one-on-one -on -one battles, followed by a weapons demonstration and finally a grand melee. We have very different ranks within our group, within the dawn of chivalry. And first of all, I'd like to introduce you to the lowest of the low. The scumbags of the dawn of chivalry. We have our lonely, oppressed, forced to fight for his lord, who a man. We are the Levy. He's a good man. He is a good man. <laughs> Levy, and his name is Adam. Say hello to Adam, everybody. Yeah. As you can see, he is wearing a padded gambeson for protection. It's not that much protection, and it's quite cheap. <laughs> On his head, he's got something to protect that tiny little brain of his. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got himself. A couple of axes, lowly weapons, these are everyday weapons. Other weapons that a levy might have would be a spear, a scythe, anything that they could use that really didn't cost them very much money. They are the lowest of the law. And at this season our medieval man is mostly wearing linen. Hey. No, we don't want to see that. Linen hose, which look a little bit like stockings. And a pair of linen braids. To everybody, your braids. Show us your braids. Very sexy. These are his medieval boxer shorts. Thank you very much, Adam. Say goodbye to the audience. Next, we have a professional soldier. When I say professional, I use that term very loosely. <laughs> as professional as we get at the Dawn of Chivalry. This is a sergeant, and as you can see, he's better equipped than a levy. 
than a levy. Not only does he have a gamble set, but he's also wearing a male harbour and coit on his head to protect his slightly larger brain. Is a secret. He also has a sword, which is a higher status weapon. Sergeant is a professional soldier in many ways, almost as proficient as a knight. Just, and he will be paid because that is his job. Knights that could afford sergeants would employ them to support them. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have been waiting for. I would like to introduce you to the top of the top, the creme de la creme, the egos of egos. We have the arrogant knight. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's your knight, one of your knights. And as you can see, he's well equipped for the battlefield. He's got better armour, better weapons, shinier, bigger, harder, stronger, and as you can see, he's wearing a barrel helm, sorry, for a moment there, a bit of uh, amnesia. He's wearing a barrel helm which covers his face, as you can see, tiny little eye holes, eye slits there. So his vision isn't particularly good, however, he's well protected. He's got a maze, a crushing implement. Believe you and me, Sir Richard, if you were that, you would definitely feel it. He has his coat of arms on his shield so that everybody knows who he is and whose family he belongs to. He's proud to be a knight. He's got a surcoat in the colour of his lion. And he's got a very nicely weapon. He's got his single-handed sword. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have your knife. Thank you very much, Sir Richard. Well, I think we've had enough of this talking, don't you? Do you want to see some fighting? have got massive egos <laughs> and they're really arrogant so in order to feed their massive egos you're going to need to cheer them on because the harder they cheer the harder they will fight <laughs> so i'm going to introduce to you now each knight and his household get over here stop talking to the ladies <laughs> go on get a move on First of all, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who has dragged himself out of his pit this morning, to be quite honest. He cropped an awful lot of air last night, and to be quite sure, I'm not even certain he's even sober today. He's a whirling dervish with a bit of steel. I give you, ladies and gentlemen, Sir William! He's not a very rich knight, he can only afford one levy. Oh. <laughs> and his levy is called Bob. <laughs> so we've got Billy and we've got Bob. So it's the household of Billy Bob. Thank you very much. Next, we have 200 pounds of fury and muscle. He's built like an ox, can dance like a fox. We have Sir Richard! And Sir Richard's a little bit richer, because he's got himself a levy and a 
sergeant. So first of all, he's got Levy. <laughs> and Sergeant Phil. Oh, Phil. A bit like the Brothers Grimm, to be quite honest. Oh, the Brothers Dim. Sorry. Next, we have a pretty boy. <laughs> As you can see, arrogant. Loves himself a little bit. <laughs> bit of a pretty boy, so ladies and gentlemen, you need to lock up your daughters. <laughs> so you have Sir Matthew! <laughs> You'll notice that throughout fighting, Sir Matthew will be smiling, he loves to fight. He is the laughing assassin. And supporting him because Sir Matthew can't afford a levy or a sergeant. We've got ourselves a knight that's teamed up with him. He's new to the arena. He is no saint. He is Sir George. <laughs> and last, ladies and gentlemen, but by no means least, we have a man whose ego is bigger than his guts. This man has got guts. <laughs> and he knows how to use them. We have Sir Frederick. And Sir Frederick has got himself a special little friend today, all the way from Austria. <laughs> We have Sergeant Arnold! Now let me remind you everybody that the harder you cheer, the harder they'll fight. At least three occasions this season, we've seen blood. And today, to be quite honest, I quite fancy seeing a little bit more. So first of all, just want to let you know that last night while they were quaffing ale, they're all kind of giving it the big eye up, showing off to each other, saying my weapon's bigger than your weapon. <laughs> and there was a lot of polishing going on. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, grudges to be settled today. So first of all, I'd like to introduce you to Sir William. <laughs> And he's going to be taking on Sir Frederick. <laughs> so who do you want to win? Do you want Sir William? The mostly drunk. Or Sir Frederick, who dresses like a bumblebee. <laughs> Right, my lords, can you please face each other? <laughs> They've chosen to go for single sword combat. We have. Salute each other. Salute God. Let's see who the last 
I'm standing is here. William, do you require a little help? It's all right, ladies and gentlemen, he's still alive, just about. Next we have Sir Matthew. Meet you, Sir Matthew, please. And he's going to be taking on the mighty Sir Richard. Gentlemen, Sir Richard's just informed me that Sir Matthew is not manly enough for him to fight. So he's going to send out his minions. He's going to send out Sergeant Phil and Levy Adam, the brothers Tim. Oh, no. <laughs> so we don't have one on one combat. We've got a three set. So we've got sword and shield versus sword, single sword and an axe and shield. Get over there! <laughs> 